and good morning everyone. Um, it is currently 7.43 and I'm on my way to pick up Rosina to go to the gym. Honestly, guys, I'm gonna keep myself accountable here. I have not gone to the gym in literally like two weeks. Literally my last video, I was like, healing girl summer, going to the gym. I went five days in a row and then I had like a cabin trip and then I had another cabin trip and then honestly, I just have not been going at all, which is just tragic. Hopefully today will be a good gym session. I do have a lot planned today also. I'm gonna be seeing my friend Danny and we might go downtown and make like a charcuterie board she actually leaves for university like in a few weeks so I really need to see her before she goes okay I'm here at Rosina's I'm gonna wait for her to come I think she's getting a water bottle but in the meantime I just bought this little like juice cleanse shot out of all the ones they had they had like rejuvenizing they ha actually I don't know if they had that one but they had like energizing ginger blah, blah blah they had so many different types but I felt like detox was what I needed I just need a bodily cleanse detox I don't know if that's the word not bodily cleanse like I just need an, a detox from the inside out you know what I'm saying like too much junk food been eaten too many like sugary drinks hopefully this will I don't know what this does hopefully it'll do something okay I feel like it should there's beet lemon BEC milk this still this still I have no idea what that is oh activated charcoal so let's give it a shot mm. This also isn't ideal since I brushed my teeth this morning. It's honestly not brutal. There's other juices, but I haven't even been able to like even remotely take. This just tastes like straight up beet and lemon. Okay, we're done. That was probably like $5 in a tiny little jar. But honestly, I'd do it again. That was pretty good. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> First impressions together. We'll try. Cheers. Tastes really good. Really fresh. I wish it was more cold, but I'm also sitting here with my computer. I have to get a lot of work done. And by work, like I need to start editing some things. I need to answer some emails. I need to make some final decisions on some stuff. Just get back to people. So that's what I'm gonna do now for the next little bit, and then we can start getting ready. doing my work I planned out some of my next few days and I'm so scared because I literally have so many plans and like so much actual work to do that I'm feeling very overwhelmed and feeling very much self-sabotage to a point where I almost feel kind of disassociated from my life
Okay, I have finally finished straightening my hair and it is time to get ready. Recently, I just got sent a whole bunch of Charlotte Tilbury products and that is a dream. That is a freaking dream. I'm so honored because how did that even happen? I don't know. I've been loving all their products, so I'm gonna do a little makeup tutorial for you guys. Normally, start off with this. It's the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream, and this is my favorite. I've been using this for a long time. I have this one that I've, like, used up, but this is the Illuminization one, and honestly, I think I like the regular better than this just because it leaves my face super sparkly. If you guys want to see, like, my going out makeup, because recently, I just got the fake eyelashes, and I went out last night, and I did, like, a whole fake eyelash back look and honestly it looked really good I can do definitely like a night out makeup for you guys if you'd be interested in that I'm gonna apply some concealer and I always once again use my NARS creamy concealer I literally have gone through so many bottles we do some there we do some on my forehead and then around my mouth and then once I'm done with that before I set any powder on my face I'm gonna go in with this Charlotte Tilbury beauty light wand it's a high blush in the color peach gasm I use this on my cheeks it's super glowy also then we go in with some powder and I get some of this and I put it under my eyes. We'll put some on the forehead, some on the chin, and on my smile line. And the bronzer that I use is actually a face powder from MAC. It's just in a darker shade. Studio Fix NW40. And I just get a big fluffy brush. And I just bronze up my face because I really like a bronzed glowy look. I need to leave- oh! I need to leave my house at 12 and it's already 12, so that's concerning. I'm gonna go in with this blush from Charlotte Tilbury. Super glowy once again, but it's really good. Also, I forgot to add, but my go-to beauty tip is to use this gel. It's called the Got To Be Glued Spiking Glue Water Resistant as Eyebrow Gel. Before I do any of my makeup, like once I finish my skincare, I grab a little bit of this, rub it in my fingers, rub it on my eyebrows, brush my eyebrows, do my whole face makeup, and then once they're like super set into place, I fill them in after that. And it has worked super well, way better than brow gel. Normally, for my eyebrows, I'll use a brow pencil, but I ran out, and for some reason, I I've been using this which is literally a color pop record pen and it honestly works better than like any eyebrow thing I've ever tried and I'm scared that it's gonna run out soon because it's like a felt tip pen For eyeshadow, I grab any big fluffy brush like this one and I grab my MAC Studio Powder and I just grab a little bit there and then literally just put it on my entire eye. We're gonna do a little winged eyeliner. So I get a winged brush. I normally tend to use this color right here, which is like a brown reddish color. This works so well with blue eyes. This is a new eyelash color that I just bought. It's from Tweezerman. It's just from Sephora. And honestly, I kind of underestimated getting inexpensive eyelash color because I'm like, they all do the same thing. But actually, I think you should invest in a high quality eyelash curler because it kind of kind of does make all the difference I feel like my other lash curlers from the drugstore did not curl my lashes as well for mascara today I'm gonna be using the lash sensational in waterproof for lip liner. I'm gonna use this This is the ColourPop lippy pencil in the shade brink I believe and then lastly just any lip product over top Introduce yourself. Danny. I don't even have you no. been in one of my videos. No. <laughs> uh -oh. We've been friends for a long time, guys. It's just a long time coming because COVID. Yeah, this is my long time bestie from back in the day. It's her photo of little babies. <laughs> she went to school in Toronto, so I like never see her. And then yeah. when we're here, like, why have I only seen you like four times this year? It's, it's okay. We're it's here okay. now. It's so okay. it's okay. We're going to make a picnic today yes. because we had a charcuterie. Honestly, Owens are both of our charcuteries. We have a super good, like, we're really good one, at it. And we had a very good breakfast board for some random. Oh, yeah. Reason, but I that was so that. good. That was also for my birthday, wasn't it? Yeah, anyways, it was her birthday just passed. She turned 20. And we bought all the ingredients. I It's a lot of food. Yeah. And we have a lot to unpack. And we also have to pay for parking. And we also have to walk to the places we don't know where we're going. Look, we're actually at um, Stanley Park. I'm not sure where we're gonna like go, really. Look at how beautiful this looks. This is insane. This little beach area. So long. I feel like I'm in Hawaii. Hawaii. Rock number one. Now she's so late And as you're talking I start thinking 
This is our cute little setup. I put on a bathing suit. It's time to build our charcuterie board. Yeah, we have these little things. We have brie cheese and what is that, goat cheese or something? Um, Danish style fontina cheese. I have this jam that I brought from home. We have a bunch of berries in here. We have a selection of meats. An Earl Grey croissant with a single gold foil on it. And we also have a mock. The slant is just not. We have delicious! And we have a whole baguette. Ew, ew, ew. Tell me, this isn't it perfect. Works. It's perfect. I do I no, this looks so delicious. Our cheese is glistening. We do have a bunch of like bread on here, which is a little bit suspicious, but it Let looks go so through, good. Though, we have some blueberries going on. Yeah. Raspberries, they're fresh. BC local. Yeah. A little baguette for mm -hmm. the French moment. This, we won't show this. We won't show this. It does feed a family of like 25. Yeah. Uh, we devoured this poor little I'm board. So Today is currently Monday, August 9th at 12 p.m. And today is a special day, you know why? Because we've hit 500K. 500k and it is August 9th. My goal was to hit 500k before my birthday, which is October 14th. And then I changed it maybe to the end of September, then I changed it to the end of summer, and it's literally like I hit it last night and we're already it's like beginning of August and we've already hit this ginormous milestone. I'm so happy, so proud, so grateful. I don't even know how to express my gratitude because it seems so unreal. I cannot believe that this is my real life. I cannot believe that my life is playing out the way it is. I feel like this is a dream that I hopefully don't wake up from. Today, I want to do something to celebrate and honestly, I've been really on top of celebrating all my milestones like 100k, 200k, 300k, 400k, but this one snuck up on me and I've been having not the most like, I don't know, I've been kind of in a rut lately, so I really didn't plan ahead of this one, which makes me sad because it's the big, it's such a big achievement, which means that today I'm going to try my best to make this a really good day. I, I really want to celebrate this because it means so much to me and first step is I want to do a giveaway. I want to give back to you guys. I think that would be super fun. And I also did a community tab a while ago being like, well, what do you guys want me to do for 500k? And that was a big thing. I also want to see my friends. I just want to celebrate and feel the happy vibes today. So first things first is I'm going to run some errands. I'm going to go to a bunch of different places to buy some stuff for the giveaway. I'm going to make it very like self-care themed. If you're seeing this right now, go do the giveaway. I'll insert the rules right now. They didn't have the stationery store that I wanted, which is quite unfortunate, but I ended up buying a little cake, which means that really I gained nothing from it. I just instead bought food, which is not the goal, but I think I'm gonna try to have a little like wholesome, like walk, like why not? So I've just gone to a park and I'm sitting on a bench. This is kind of out of the ordinary. I wouldn't usually just come to a park by myself to eat a slice of cake, but I did buy that tiramisu cheesecake. So here we are. I'm just gonna sit here, observe the nature, be thankful and think about how epic this day is. I always think about this, but remember the time that Charlie D'Amelio got like literally almost canceled because she said, oh, I wanna hit a hundred mil. People were like, was the 99 not enough for you followers? And then James Charles roasted her basically because it sounded like she was ungrateful for her followers. But honestly, being in the position with having some followers, nowhere near 100 million, but you know what I mean? You kind of subconsciously and unintentionally think about the numbers and it's hard to imagine 400 or 500,000 people because literally when have you ever, I don't even know if I've seen 500,000 people. So it's hard to fathom that that many people follow you. So it just 
it seems like it would become a number which is why i think you need to do some reflecting and really realize like how insane that number is which is what i'm gonna do right now also don't roast me for comparing myself to that because i don't want to get canceled for people thinking that i'm not grateful <laughs> There's so many ducks out. I feel so wholesome. I just posted these Instagram stories. My cake is so good. I'm happy. I can't tell if I look like, okay, I know you're not supposed to care. Like me eating alone here, I shouldn't care. I should just be like, own it. But I can't tell if I look sad. Like I'm by myself sitting, eating a one person cake. Like, is that sad? And not only that, but I'm talking to myself and filming myself. Come on. This setup right now, I look kind of insane. If being a YouTuber means I get to do this, I would do it every day.